actors are not aware that you know when you're working in a particular film if it's a dark film you have a hangover when you move on to next film they are aware and which are more than actors i believe that technicians are somebody who are there right from the very beginning to the very end do you have any of such hangovers when you're working in a period film or then you're moving on to a very hip and urban film a oru switching undallo of mind is that difficult for a technician yeah i don't know about others but i don't have it i can do simultaneously do uh five things uh, very, very different things actually so okay. it, uh, it does again naturally uh, easily it has come to me uh, I, i remember when i was doing bible in a tv serial jamba a television serial in bible navodaya chedu so that time that is a that one and tamil i was doing a mythology which was kanda puranam kanda puranam on the other television serial and side by side there was another television serial which was called uh, endran Uh, sorry adle uh, robo dog na cheditta okay i forgot the name of the film i am not uh, not a film it was not in inia yendra not in inia yendra that means about robotics and things well the, that small dog i made and i did the most of the sequences so avarena chochina endanga ni period padam you know okay illa height ek edla the same writer sujatha only was writing for both sir if you are writing why can't i do this also in inendra and kandapurana was two different things and bible also was happening side by side this satyadele choikyane oru vaadu questions inde but what i thought was that instead of asking you too many questions i would divide the rest of the interview into four segments and each segment basically is about a particular director and a film or series of films sir work edittla aalkare thaniyana avare kuriche you will have to tell me uh, the experience or probably or a trivia which we probably do not know about it sir onu paraya the first director i am talking about is ss rajmouli sir and his world of bahubali and rrr how is it working with him uh, rajmouli is so passionate and involved so much with films like people say no they uh, drink like uh, eat cinema uh, drink cinema sleep cinema like that a person he is actually possessed by cinema actually that's what i should tell everyone because cherikum uh, he he is possessed by it because every detail he'll be thinking about everything every time he'll be thinking about that other than that he'll be a very quiet person in the party hall he won't even talk much he'll be sitting somewhere in the corner and he doesn't drink also so he is a different kind of person but his commitment towards the job when he's working and ad- ad- admirable i'm not saying others are not Person, but he is mad about film making and uh, going into that and trying everything himself first and checking out things and he now i think he extracts maximum what he can get from people he try out different ways to get it done this way finally and how did he get hold of the essence of bahubali sir so actually uh, it was his vision the scale wise and things to that what he wanted was his career. though i have done a lot of period films the last person when you are talking about uh, you told me uh, told i know you like period films actually i don't like period films i like uh, futuristic films <laughs> i like uh, robo mari another subjects i'm very interested basically to do because advanced in technology and knowing that and trying to create something out of imagination and putting things to make it work no so that is more challenging for me than recreating this one but since people have seen my work and this other most of them called me only for period films actually but now what were you asking me about i was asking about bahubali sir because i i remember you telling about uh, in the first meeting the yeah, first meeting yes. with the director he told showed me one concept art which he had got it done or 1000 feet waterfall actually he told me sir if i'm making this film this should be there uh, seeing that i immediately knew that the scale is this big because i could understand the uh, staging of that film is going to be uh, humongous so everything i thought on those lines actually points there and he'll be measuring the tape and i used to think it's my job why is he doing but then i knew he likes to do that that's what i found and he likes to be involved in every that whole process of the film making actually so then i started supporting him doing him and i understood him quite well so rr was much more easier than all these things actually then those two bahubali is actually 
but i did made uh, when he called me also he called me he told me i want you to for the action sequence i told him what am i going to do in action no a lot of rigs i need sir to be made adare bike and rig miniature of the train or uh, what sequences in our rigs use there for so the action sequence which i made it for him actually even the breaking of the fountain the whole host wave dancing like snakes with that but so there was no cg involved in that one so we i had to think how to go about that and make it work for him so but it was really challenging i really enjoyed all these films with him because it's a great experience because it it always challenges me when he asks for something which others have not done till now and things like that the next director is shankar so see shankar also is a equally hard working person he okay. plans meticulously and first is script to lock up one best thing about him is that he lock the script he think about all so if anyone once he locks the script he doesn't change a little bit also he'll say i have thought about it 360 angles and degrees i have thought about the everything which i have written so everything is interlinked and things so that so if i change anything after that no then it might affect somewhere else so okay. once he lo- once he talks this script he doesn't uh, change it at all and he plans it meticulously and he takes uh, uh, he knows how much time each one will take and based on that he'll plan the whole call sheet program he also gets involved like in a thing while working he is meticulous but he is a very cool person while shooting he doesn't get tense or he doesn't make others tense so he he'll, he'll be very relaxed that's a very fantastic quality of him so then my personal favorite mani ratnam mani is a nice person but tension on work him under karan him full tension like because we want because we know he's a fantastic director and his films i used to have seen nayagan mohan padanga and jashan i really thought he's done a fantastic job. that time i was studying in i just finished college i think okay. and i really liked that film the uh, aesthetics and the way he captured that film and So when I got an opportunity to work with him, first time I couldn't do. It was not a good thing. But it was, I don't know, I was just doing Kalapani and was just getting over with Kalapani. Okay. So I told him, my plate is full, sir. I had seven course dinner <laughs> during a period. You know? If you ask me again another period for him, I don't think I'll be able to do justice to that film. Okay. So then he told me, so whom do you recommend? So I said, I don't know, sir. Samir Chandiyar is the best moment because he helped me for Gardish, my assistant's assistant. Uh, help me to work in bombay gardish okay. uh, during gardish few shooting which we had because i didn't know anyone in bombay at that point of time okay so sanish chandas name came through santosh so i met him and then i he helped me out so like that i could manage in bombay uh, so i suggested uh, then sanish chandas only did iru after that again he called me for okay. kannathil mutamattal that was my first film with manirathram yes Uh, we were supposed to do the whole thing in uh, sri lanka so when we went to sri lanka it was looking exactly like kerala i told sir give me one day i'll take photographs here bus in the water shed uh, number plate to mars uh, boats and uh, all i told them we'll go back because it was very risky to shoot at that point of time there because the war was going on with ltt and things like that so i told him square to ski why can't we do it in you are sure that we can do it in i told kerala looks exactly like this sir i'll show you places and we'll do and then on madras loop കേരളത്തിലാണ് ഞങ്ങൾ മോസ്റ്റ്ലി ഷൂട്ട് ചെയ്തത് കണ്ണത്തിൽ ഉള്ള പടം അണ് ഇറ്റ് കേം ഔട്ട് വെൽ അതിരമ്പള്ളിയിലുള്ള ബുദ്ധ സ്റ്റാച്ചു ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു ഓക്കേ സർ പറഞ്ഞു കേട്ടിട്ടുണ്ട് ലൈക് एवरीबॉडी ഈസ് ടോക്കിംഗ് അബൌട്ട് ആൽത്തെ ഒരു മേജർ സോങ് ഇൽതെ ഒരു ഷിപ്പിന്റെ ഒരു സ്കെലറ്റൻ ആയിട്ട് വരുന്ന ഒരു ഷിപ്പിന്റെ കുറിച്ചാ പറയുന്നത് ബട്ട് യു സെഡ് ദാറ്റ് പീപ്പിൾ ഡോണ്ട് റിയലൈസ് ദി ഫാക്റ്റ് ദാറ്റ് യു നോ देयर ഇസ് ദാറ്റ് ടു ബോട്ട്സ് ബീൻ ടൈഡ് ആൻഡ് കോട്ട് ഇൻ എ സ്റ്റോം ശ്രീലങ്കയിൽ നിന്ന് ഇന്ത്യയിലേക്ക് വരുന്ന ഒരു സീക്വൻസ് ഉണ്ട് and uh, i don't know if it's right you made that in 5 feet no tank la na inside or a studio la na recreate is that true yeah yeah actually that was shot in murugalaya studio where exactly gardish when you were saying idilla dobi ghat avade irun set ittundayad so this was a indoor set where we put a huge tank and put two boats tied together and the travel like a storm sequence was shot in said that so every interview that people most of the media people everyone appreciated our skeleton mary lor that Correct. thought came to me from ship of the desert one to normally uh, camels na pathi parayo but camel desert you can see the vaayil uh, lingana mm-hmm. skeleton so i suddenly connected that and the ship lay that in the barren land 
so i wanted to recreate that that was well appreciated but the job was quite tough to do the storm scene that was more difficult so people told no no we thought it was short match actually see you can shoot like this actually. it's not okay. easy now the film which i am working on now again we are creating uh, boats and ship and waves and kadala full adu nadakkum so so what happens when there is a difference of opinion or a uh, sort of belief and faith mechanism right like when you have something in mind you are 100% clear about it but then the technician opposite to you has a different viewpoint uh, so how how does things go hand in hand so see so basically if i am very sure and i know it can happen i'll try to convince them and say practically it is possible and people who know me who has worked with me know if i tell something it can't be uh, he is very clear about what uh, he is telling but some people will still their confidence level also will be very high about what they are thinking okay. so i'll take a call based on what is right for the film and at one point if i had to just uh, give a leverage and so on and as far as that is also working so there is not only one way of doing things there can be multiple ways of doing things okay. what is right for this film at this point of time with the budget available budget that is more important so i give priority based on that actually when the decision making is normally difficult for most of them but i for me it is very easy because with the available knowledge at that point of time what is the best which you can do within the time frame and the budget you can fix <laughs> things actually so you make art sound very easy sir which i know it's not that easy from a practical perspective uh, the fourth person the director i want to mention this point is the director who gave you the first national award the director with whom you have worked the most priyadarshan the first national award was for tenman kambath with priyadarshan which was priyadarshan's film again uh, but i had i got a film fair award my first award itself uh, was for gardish okay. uh, hindi le uh, for gardish actually we got a, i got a film fair award after that about six film fair awards i got so far but even again the next one next national award also i got it for priyadarshan's film kala pani but sir you said that kala pani le kitti award na ana korchu kodi sir mundukum ullad because you felt tenmaving kombath was sort of an easy film for you there was no much of a challenge in the challenge see it was in the spirit but recreating a period was very difficult in kala pani uh, because people have seen things which was there because when we grew up and ts it like one of and i told you e industries english and scottish company where all these english things which they used to use those days came of use for karabe so i knew already at that period what they were using and how it was look and things like that so it became easier but it was tough to recreate that was my major major period film that i had to recreate then man come the as you said it was a lighter subject it was a village which has to be made beautiful and frame beauty matra mokitum adile creativity kaanichittum and with the less budget we could achieve that so it was a quite a surprise for me when i got for uh, this one then mohan kumbath the line which they announced when we i received that award was saying perfect uh, setup by our director for a uh, cinemascope film that was the first year they gave for cinemascope actually so the format because basically composition has to be planned that way so i used to make everything movable so that it was easy to compose and things like that actually i'm sure the most or almost all the filmmakers in india would be dying to work with you okay and they they are all must be coming to you also so what is your criteria to select a project to say yes to something and no to something how does it work so uh, basically it should be challenging for me if another person can do it i'll say why why me why you chose me so if we if we can justify that then i'll do it uh, i never uh, done films for money actually if it okay. challenges me and if i can show my work and i got an opportunity to showcase because i always believe having talent is one thing but you need opportunity to showcase your work to show your work so for that i used to choose films basically <laughs> so i know chances are there for people to know and even another person tries to even if they don't know it is a set uh, or how they uh, how we have done that so when they do it they know it's not easy to do so that gives me satisfaction actually so do you miss advertising 
I uh, did visual communication in college and I was five years, I was having my own agency, freelancing at the first year of the college. Then I had my own small agency where there were about four or five artists under me. I had a dark room, I had a printing unit. So designers, uh, five of them used to work and I also used to work. Is it true that you have created and designed the menu for Taj? Yeah, Taj, uh, pardon, uh, sorry, I used to work for Welcome Group first. Okay. So, Adia Park started. When uh, Adia Gate became Adia Park, I started working for them. I used to start, I started working uh, for the front office, basically. Okay. Then I used to do the guest stationaries and things like that. Then slowly, I started doing for other departments. Then FNB, Putin, Beverage, and the manager of meeting after seeing my work. Then I started designing menus for them, seasonal 10 cards. Seeing this one, uh, Adia Park and Chola was under Welcome Group. So, I was working for Chola also. Seeing that work, I think uh, Taj called me. So, Taj also I used to do. Though they were competitors and things like that, I used to handle separately and not leave the designs or uh, use the same design there. Okay. So, Taj also I've done a lot of work for them actually. Then Madhura calls uh, uh, so many companies. Uh, I'm not very sure if you remember it. It's uh, 1st of February 1991. Sir, what do you think about 1991, because actually the years passed by and things like that, I am not able to keep a account because everything looks as if it just happened now. Sir, the first major cinema is Amaram release in that year. In that year, the first time in that year, sir, the first time in that year, the make-believe came to the world of cinema. Four national awards, Urubad State Awards and Fraternity Awards. I'm sure you've seen success like no one else. I have to ask you this. What keeps you motivated even today? See, first thing I should tell you, success doesn't go to my head and failure to my heart. So I take both equally under control and <laughs> don't give too much of importance for these kind of things. It's just about to happen. I take life as a travel. Basically, roads will be rough, sometimes the roads will be smooth. It's a part of life. The journey you should enjoy. So I enjoy my journey, basically. My life, the work uh, which comes my way. And as far well as I enjoy that, I think that's good for me. That keeps me happy, basically. So what's the one piece of advice you would like to give it out to the youngsters who want to get into the world of films as a production designer or as an art director? See, uh, seeing our names in the papers and all those things, it's very easy uh, thinking that it's not, uh, you shouldn't think it's very easy to uh, get a name like that in the industry. Because a lot of cinema is easy, but it's really tough because we won't even have bathrooms or proper bathrooms or toilets when we go outdoor and when we put set and things like that. And today, even girls find it very difficult to come into the industry because of those kind of things. And it's a tough job because we have to manage so many people, time-wise, time-bound, budget-based. I think life is difficult in any which way, but it's how you take it. So, if you really enjoy that, I think it shouldn't be. But try to utilize all your expertise, the, the knowledge what you have gained into a son. Because, and if you are lucky, you might get the best thing, uh, work, opportunity, if you are ready at that point of time. So that is more important than anything else. I think they should take it, like, at most, this one is, uh, you should be as sincere as possible. And hard work, don't shy away from hard work. And I think that should be the best quality. Basically, art is a part of this one. I, we can't increase your talent as such. It's your ignorance which is a problem normally. So, try to learn from masters who have done earlier and talk to them and how to go. Uh, it, they'll show you an easier path because that's a road which they would have traveled earlier. So, it'll be easier for them to tell you, take this route. So, that way, it might help them if they... And not to be adamant about doing things only your way. There will be a multiple ways. Just keep it, keep your mind open. You'll find ways to achieve that. Sir, thank you so much for being on the show. We wish you all the very best. It was my pleasure too. And thank you so much. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to speak. Thank you, sir.